What's up, guys? How's it going? Johnny from Caledonia Drum Studio coming to you from beautiful southern Ontario, Canada. Um, are you a drummer or a musician that sits on a throne? Um, most drummers do. <laughs> but I'm thinking, you know, uh, some guitarists, keyboard players, anyone, anyone who's sitting on a throne when they're playing. But especially for you drummers. Uh, do you have low back pain? Have you had an injury like I have? Um, this video might be for you. I'm going to review three thrones that are designed to take pressure off of your lower back and help you sit in comfort and be able to play for hours and hours pain-free, or at least to drastically help you in that, in that cause. Um, I had a bad back injury about 16 years ago, as I mentioned, uh, two massively herniated lower di uh, discs in my lower back, and um, it was absolute hell. Um, completely disrupted my life for the better part of a year. Thankfully, I had a great surgical team. I had an absolute angel of a physiotherapist, and I got back on track relatively fairly quickly, but I had to relearn how to do a lot of things in my life. And playing drums was certainly one of them. I just had to start doing things a different way and start approaching things a different way, thinking about my posture um, and just a, uh, just attacking my instrument differently. So I've been on a quest to really kind of start finding or to, to, to find a, a better throne ever since then. And there's a few different models out there. The, the problem was I just didn't often see them in local music stores, and so I really couldn't try them out. I started experiencing a little bit more low back tightness, not so much pain, but tightness uh, in my low back and in my hamstrings over this past you know, year or two as I've been doing more playing from home, doing more recording projects from home, teaching more now from home. And uh, so the, que the, you know, the quest was on for a nice new comfy throne. So I decided to invest the money and try a bunch of different ones out. So hopefully this will help you out if you are in a similar predicament. And um, let's get into it. Okay, guys, I wasn't actually going to review this throne, um, but I figured I'd just throw it into the mix. Uh, the first one we will talk about is the uh, Mapex throne that I have here. It's the T750A, I believe it's called. Um, this is one of the first thrones that I got this past year to try out. And, you know, when I started feeling a little bit more tightness in my lower back, I was originally sitting on a um, Yamaha throne, I think, um, prior to this. And it was just getting a little bit old. And I figured I'd start checking out new thrones. This was the first one I got. Um, my initial thoughts, a very cushiony seat. It's a four inch seat. Nice sturdy base that came with it. So um, that was a plus. Lots of nice, you know, locking uh, mechanisms here to keep everything in place. Especially if you're a big dude like me, you need those locking mechanisms to, uh, you know, uh, Keep things from sliding down on you um, and very easy to adjust which I liked I do actually like this throne I like the base but again after using it for a while I found that just my low back tightness was starting to creep back in so I eventually retired this one and started moving on to try some other uh, you know more ergonomic specifically designed for your back drum thrones but I figured I'd just throw this one into the mix because uh, you know it's not bad but this one is now relegated to my teaching kit so all of my students sit on this one they're a little bit smaller than me for sure and um, they seem to like this throne but for me uh, I had to retire it I was still getting a stiff back so um, you know comfy yes but uh, not necessarily good for me i'm six foot four and weigh currently about 270 pounds um so i'm still kind of rocking like football weight you know um sadly i've put on the covid you know 10 10 or 15 but um anyway still a big dude and uh you know yeah so this throne was okay but still had to go Okay, guys, so the next throne we're going to talk about um, is the Carmichael throne. I just figured I'd show you what it looks like first um, disassembled. 
Now, when I ordered this and I talked to the guys at Carmichael down in the States, um, I was not able to order just the top alone, which was kind of a little bit of a drag because I've got plenty of bases. So um, I had to order a new base with it, which of course upped the cost and of course shipping to Canada where I live um, definitely upped the shipping because it added a lot more weight to the uh, to the package. Um, they did ship me up this uh, lovely rock and sock throne base, which is super sturdy and it's great. Nothing wrong with this base, but the bases aren't really the problem. I've got a lot of great, great throne bases. It's the tops that I'm really looking for. So um, here's what it looks like disassembled. Pretty standard. And this should fit most, uh, you know, pretty much any thrones of, the, or throne bases of this kind of style, okay? So let's check it out assembled, and then we'll talk really quick about it. Here's the Carmichael throne assembled. You can see a good shot of the logo there. It certainly looks great. And when I first got this, I got this about a year ago and uh, started playing it, and immediately, um, whoops, that's a little bit loose there. Immediately, um, I found that it was way better than the than the Mapex uh, throne. You see you've got this channel here which um, is intended to alleviate pressure on your spine so that when you're sitting your butt cheeks kind of go on either side here it takes pressure off your spine and your spine basically like kind of like free floats back here so there's nothing really impinging that. I did really like it <coughs> excuse me I did really like it at first um, so more on that later. Um, it's quite cushiony. Um, it's about the same thickness as the um, Apex, maybe a little bit less, maybe three and a half inches or so. But you can see like with very little effort, I'm really squishing that down. Um, but this channel, which is again about two inches uh, wide, really kind of seemed to help me out at first and um, rocked this throne for a good while. Um, yeah, close to a year or so. But then, as I had mentioned in my kind of intro, I started to experience more tightness in my lower back. And I was like, you know, what the hell's going on, man? I've got this new throne now. I will say I dropped a pretty penny on this, and I'll talk about the pricing a little bit later, but uh, just as a footnote, um, you know, if you're spending money on something that is going to help you feel good about when you're, uh, when you're playing, rather, um, be, you know, be expected that you're going to drop a bit of coin. Um, a lot of this gear is not cheap, but it is worth the investment when you find something that works for you, uh, because health is super important. So anyway, there's the Carmichael throne. Now another thing that kind of cheesed me off a bit is the fact that they only offered, um, funny enough, you know, I'm a bigger dude, but I'm not, I was never really a fan of super wide seats. And this one I think is 15 inches. Um, and I was used to more of like a 13 inch size. And I think they used to offer that, but for whatever reason, they didn't when I, you know, was talking to them and called them up. So that was, that was weird. I had to get used to sitting on a, a larger throne, which again, being a big dude, you'd think I'd prefer because I generally have a bigger ass, um, but um, not the case. So it, it took a little bit of getting used to on that front as well, but certainly nice looking throne. It was expensive, um, but... You can see the density there. It's actually quite soft. Um, now, I don't know whether that's just, you know, uh, me thinking that it's softer than it really is, but certainly comparing to a couple of the other ones, it's fairly soft. So Carmichael Throne Company, there it is. This was, uh, you know, recommended to me by, uh, you know, a couple of people, and um, I checked them out and went ahead and ordered, and here we have it, the Carmichael Throne. Some people super duper love it. Um, I loved it uh, at first initially, but then again, like I said, that, that tightness kept creeping back into my hamstrings and my, and my low back, so the quest was on for another one. Had I stuck with this, um, you know, I think I would have been okay, but <clears throat> um, I still wanted to find something else out there. And so with that, 
we will head in to talk about the next throne. So next up we're going to talk about the saddle style seat that I have, or throne that I have, which is a uh, made by a head, or a head, I'm not sure how they prefer to pronounce it. Same people, same company, I'm assuming, that make the uh, really terrible sounding <laughs> plastic drumsticks um, that people like Lars Ulrich play and, uh, and the like. Anyway, I'm not a fan, but whatever. Um, this is what it looks like disassembled. Again, I'm going to just throw it on this rock and sock uh, base that I have because it's already set up. Um, but, you know, similar, similar kind of deal up here. Again, fits most standard thrones so so that's cool i bought this off of um a guy who was selling it locally and uh, for a good deal and again it was a good opportunity for me to test drive another throne of this style you can see again it's got the um the kind of channel for your lower back this is called the a head spinal glide and um yeah i'll assemble it up and uh, we'll talk about it here we have it assembled, and um, you know, it's a nice looking throne. I gotta admit, um, when I got it, the guy that sold it to me uh, originally had a four leg base, which I can't stand. I don't know what it is. I just really hate four legged bases. I love the traditional three legged bases, and I've got a bunch of them, um, but he did want to sell it complete. So anyway, I talked him into uh, selling it with a different base, which I, uh, you know, I'm currently using, and uh, it's a lovely pork pie throne base um so yeah anyway just a little aside there but um i've got it on this rock and sock base so obviously it's compatible with a lot of different bases which is also a good thing and um i gotta say um i'm not really typically a fan of saddle seats kind of going back to what i was just saying you know i have a pretty big butt being a big dude but I just find the saddle seats are just a little bit too wide for me. You can see that's a pretty girthy, man. That's that that is big. And something about this two things. Something about this little quarter pipe here for all you skaters out there and like this little kind of it's like it's like a ball sack mogul or something. I don't know. You can kind of see it there in relief. Um I don't know, I just never really dug the shape of a lot of these saddle seats. Something about this, you know, it's fine on a Harley, but um, on my, you know, behind my drums, just something I don't dig about it. Um, but I gotta admit, it's a nice looking throne. It's got this nice kind of, uh, obviously this is a used one, so it's, you know, it's seen a little bit of road wear, but it's got this nice kind of uh, velvety kind of top with the kind of vinyl faux leather um, side here, and it's definitely built well clean I like the finish on it um, you know the red over the black looks really badass and it's a nice looking throne firmer than the a bit firmer than the Carmichael throne which was a surprise to me um, you know again I heard a lot about the Carmichael thrones and I really wanted to try them out and uh, you know I was expecting I was expecting it would be ultimately the answer to all of my all of my you know all of my kind of you know concerns that I was trying to get you know in a throne and um, or was going to address all those concerns, not necessarily the case. I got to be honest. Um, and when I tried this throne out, I actually surprisingly quite liked it. Again, not being a super fan of saddle style seats, I got to say this felt pretty good. Um, it's got a little bit of a narrower, actually quite a bit of a narrower uh, channel there. You can see it's about one inch wide so to the other extreme um, but it feels pretty good um, but still not exactly what I was looking for you know um, but I will keep this one this will be a good spare to have and again if I didn't find it locally being sold by uh, by a guy here locally who was a super nice dude um, you know, I probably would have just passed on it. But again, you don't see this kind of stuff in music stores around here that often. Um, maybe it's different where you are, wherever you're watching this. But, um, 
you know, it's hard to, to kind of see a lot of these and kind of compare and contrast them in person. So I had to just basically wait till they popped up and or you know ordered them from various companies and uh, and try them out myself. And you know, maybe I'll keep a couple of the extra ones around and um, or maybe I'll just sell them. I'm not sure. Whatever. Anyway. So there it is, the Ahead Spinal Glide Throne. Uh, about the same thickness, I'd say it's, yeah, they're, they're all pretty standard, about that four inch-ish kind of thickness. It's probably a little bit uh, thinner on the main seat portion, probably uh, more like the Carmichael in that regard, but certainly on the edge here, it's more like, you know, the four inch thickness, but really you're not, you know, I don't know. I don't know, I guess this is just to keep you from like, <laughs> your ass from falling out of the seat or something. I don't know, man. Anyway, there it is. If you like the saddle style seats, maybe that's your, your, your bag. Um, but next we will talk about the throne, uh, the final throne in this little review. And um, I think you'll be interested to check that out. So we'll move on to the next one. All right, you guys, the final throne that we're going to talk about is the uh, throne made by Orthopedic Drum Thrones. Orthopedic Drum Throne uh, Company, I'm assuming. Uh, Orthopedic Drum Thrones. Check them out on Instagram. Check out their website. Um, you can just do a Google search and find out what it is. I think it's orthopedicdrumthrones.com. But uh, don't quote me on that as I can't remember right off the top of my head sorry guys but um, definitely on Instagram and um, yeah check their stuff out this is the final throne I'm going to talk about and uh, I'm going to be putting it on this pork pie base here which again the common theme here that you can see you know these thrones um, can fit onto pretty much any base which is super handy now the thing I love right off the bat about this guy which I or also ordered from the states they're based out of uh, Kansas City Missouri um, is that they were able to ship me just the top which is fantastic so I super appreciated that right off the bat and um, let's get it assembled and check out what it looks like and I'll talk a bit about it okay the orthopedic drum thrones throne you can see it's also pretty badass looking. I ordered this one uh, also in red, so it's got the classic red on black. Um, you can get them in different colors. Uh, you know, they'll hook you up. I think they can even accommodate, you know, custom type stuff. Obviously, like a lot of things in that case, it's going to be probably extra. But, um, you know, they will work with you in that regard. You'll notice I do have it on the pork pie base. So again, it fits really well with um, you know this kind of standard um, throne or you know, standard base uh, attachment it kind of fits on pretty much any throne out there Yamaha Gibraltar pork pie Mapex um, Tama you name it um, so that's super handy and as I mentioned you can order this separate which is fantastic um, it looks great obviously you can see the logo there got a good shot of the logo orthopedic drum thrones um, the thickness I forget how thick this is exactly it looks it to be about three three and a half again I don't have all the specs super handy with me um, so I apologize about that guys but um, you know again pretty standard thickness I would say the channel which you can see there your kind of spinal channel is about an inch and a half so it's like the happy medium it's a little bit wider than the ahead throne and it's narrower than the Carmichael throne so a couple cool things about this um, that I noticed right off the bat the first thing was when I sat on it all of these thrones are pretty beefy by the way you know they're 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 definitely built you know to last um, they're heavy-duty obviously with you know the professional type touring player in mind but also if you're just a person who's doing lots of wood shedding at home and your throne is staying in place again thinking about comfort right um, they're not going to be moving around on you they're nice heavy heavy seat tops um, get them on a good base and you're good to go one of the first things I noticed about this was that it was quite firm 
which I wasn't used to sitting on all those other thrones that were kind of a lot more cushiony. This is like really, and in doing my research about the company, these guys use a really, um, you know, high grade orthopedic foam, which over time conforms more to your body, which is wicked. Like how awesome is that? Um, so, um, but I did notice it was, you know, noticeably more firm than the other ones. Like, I really got to come onto that to push down on that. But then I sat in it and it just felt awesome. Um, I really, really like this throne. So for me, out of all the ones I've tried so far, this is the clear winner. Another really cool thing about this is, is that if you can see, I believe this model is called the hipster throne. It's kind of got two, it's kind of oval shaped. And on the top side, so that end, the far side up there. So if you look at the top, it's more curved like a traditional round throne on either side of that spinal channel. And on the bottom, it's kind of more flat. And I think the idea behind this is that it gives you kind of best of both worlds. If you like more of a traditional kind of round feel under your ass, that side's probably the side you want pointing towards your kit. And sitting, you know, with your legs pointed out this way. If you're more of a kind of, uh, you like a little bit more of a flat kind of wider front, maybe more saddle type feel, you can easily just flip it that way and you're good to go. When I slapped it down behind my kit, again, this is funny because I sound like I'm super contradicting myself. Um, mentioning that I'm not normally a big fan of saddle style seats. Uh, this is kind of just the way that I slapped mine down behind my kit initially. Um, I don't know why, I just wanted the logo pointing on the right side. I'll be totally honest with you. I was just like, oh, whatever. The logo's gonna gotta go on my right. It's just an OCD thing, I guess, whatever. But then I realized, oh, I've got like kind of the, the um, you know, the saddle style pointing more towards the front. And you know what, it felt great. But I'm gonna do some experimenting with the kind of more traditional round side pointing forward as well and just see what, see what I dig more. But the cool thing is, you know, if you like both, like, uh, you know, again, this throne is designed to take that pressure off your back, but with this orthopedic foam, which really does feel great. And I, I, I gotta say, you would normally think that firm would be, uh, you know, less comfortable. It's actually opposite. It's actually more comfortable to have a nice firm throne. Um, and like I said, the literally the first time I tried this throne out, I played for about two hours. I recorded a bunch of covers for my stupid YouTube channel. Um, Caledonia Drum Studio, by the way, if you want to check it out. And um, I played for about two hours and it felt awesome. And the funny thing was, uh, totally not not making this up, I was actually having a really bad, like a, a bad back week where my low back was just really stiff, you know, um, you know, from getting into the gym and just move, general moving around. I've got a six year old, so that, you know, certainly keeps me busy sometimes. And and playing and just you know probably just not not probably stretching out and stuff the way I should be and you know a couple of bad sleeps or something like that anyway you know general life stuff and uh, I actually had a pretty stiff low back the week that I got this and tried this out and um, I played for about two hours the first time and it just felt wicked so I gotta say this one for me is the clear winner. So I gotta say thumbs up to the guys at Orthopedic Drum Thrones. Um, this is the one that will be residing behind my kit and I'll be taking it out whenever I play. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, there's nothing really much more that needs to be said. This was the clear winner for me. Um, so, you know, hey, if you get a chance, try try them out, and, and I'm not saying my way or the highway, but this is the one that, that I clearly liked more than the other ones. Um, and they were super cool guys to deal with, honestly. They got my order processed and out really quick and, and were really communicative and got back to me very quickly. I initially reached out to them on uh, Instagram and 
you know, they got back to me almost immediately. It was super cool. Talked to them on the phone a couple of times and, and just, you know, super solid guys. Um, so that's it. That's my, that's my take on it. Um, and, um, you know, if you see any of these out and about, or if you want to reach out to any of these companies, um, you know, talk to, talk to the people there and, and find what works for you. Okay guys. So there it is. Um, <laughs> I'm back sitting on my, uh, orthopedic drum thrones company throne for this outro. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you're suffering from low back pain, please, please get it checked out and take the time to find a throne that is going to work for you. Do the research, check these companies out, um, but I highly, highly recommend orthopedic drum thrones. And I'm telling you, after having uh, the back injury that I had over a decade ago, it's really, really important, especially as we get older, to take care of yourself when you're playing. If you feel good, you're going to play way better, and you're going to be able to play longer, pain-free, and it's going to be more enjoyable. It's just really that simple. It's worth the investment. I will say none of this gear is exactly cheap. The cheapest throne that I talked about, and there are others, I also have a Gibraltar throne that um, that I use for my students as well and stuff, the Mapex and the Gibraltar thrones. I've had a, I have a Yamaha throne as well. I've had Tama thrones. You name it, I've tried it. Um, but uh, certainly for thrones that specialize in taking pressure off of your low back and alleviating pain from your low back. These three, the Ahead, the Carmichael, and the Orthopedic Drum Thrones throne top that I tried, um, the clear winner was, uh, was you know, orthopedic. Um, so contact them, check them out on Instagram, uh, check, them, check out their website, uh, you know, find the link to their website through their Instagram page. And you give them a shout and see what they have to say because, you know, um, I'm not getting paid to, to try any of this stuff out. I invested my own money to try out all this gear and I'm telling you what I like. And that's just the straight goods. So um, there it is. I'm a big guy, 6'4", about 270. Um, you know, I usually fluctuate between, you know, uh, you know, 250 to 260. But as I said, I put on the, the COVID-10 so, um, you know, I'm a big dude, and if I can endorse this product, uh, you know, and, and say that it works for me, then, you know, yeah, check it out. Um, they certainly have a lot of heavyweight hitters, you know, that are behind their product, so that's always a good sign as well. And, um, yeah, check them out. So, anyway, hope this was helpful, and uh, let me know your thoughts. Um, and, um, you know, thanks for tuning in. Check out some of my videos on my YouTube channel and on Instagram. Uh, the YouTube channel is Caledonia Drum Studio, or you can just check out the videos on Instagram, Big Johnny Row. And uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that if you or someone you know is looking for, uh, you know, drum tracks to be recorded remotely, consider giving me a shout. I'd love to record drums on any kind of recording project that's going on out there. So feel free to shoot me a message. And uh, thanks for watching. Johnny from Caledonia Drum Studio, coming to you from beautiful southern Ontario, Canada. And uh, we'll catch you next time.